Hurry! 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 It's Hef from Shield K9 once again. I'm here with Molly. I just want to show you how happy and awesome she is. She's been here for about two and a half weeks. She's part of our three week program. But quite honestly, she's one of the dogs who went above and beyond. She's a really special case, very biddable, has amazing drive and just loves to do the right thing. Her only problem is she loves people too much. And that's the only thing I really correct her for. She's one of the dogs you can get away with using a lot of food, praise, and affection and you will get the world back from her. The only time I bring a negative is when she ignores. And that's her biggest problem is she gets overexcited, runs towards people, other dogs, even cars. And that's what she was here for. Now we have a really secure and firm recall on her. I hope her parents will be very happy with that. All right, so if you want to start distance commands, this is one of the ways that you can do it. Is sending the dog to his place, asking for a command, and then helping him get there, breaking the dog, and then repeating. Vito, place. Good. Oops. I'm gonna start my session with a little bit of activity on her, okay? So, first we'll take off the old one. We'll put on the chain. And right away, rewards there. Hold her back, ask for some barking. Woo! Chasing. Chasing. There we go. And look where the hand goes directly up. A good girl. Yes. Right? Hey guys, I'm here with Rex. He's one of our board and trade dogs that just got in. And he has some dog reactivity issues. We're going to show you guys that today. Four or five of my issues, you ask me. So yeah, we've had Rex here for a day. We've just been taking around other dogs, getting comfortable with them. Uh, just small progress so far. We're still working on it, but um, we got some good progress for today. Seats. Now move away. Seats. And move away. Good. And you can see there when the dog made a mistake and broke the position, we just marked, ah, ah, and we replaced the dog in the position. Good. And again, holding him accountable. And wait, 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 wait. Let's see if he leaves. Okay, break. Vito, break. Okay. Vito. There you go. And now walking slowly. And reward. Good boy. Come, uh, this time turn uh, left. Okay. So there you can see how to turn left, right? The hand stays out. Come get it from me. Come get it from me. Yeah, so that session we did with Arrow was pretty good. He's coming along fairly nicely. Uh, what we're seeing is now we're starting to add a little bit of movement into the barking, uh, to the defense of the handler. And you see he kind of has a hard time when Logan backs up or I kind of rotate around him. And it's just going to take a little bit of time for him to understand that I can now move around and he has to kind of stay by Logan's side and also continue the barking as well. Now make those jaws work, work, work. You keep him oh. good. And we reward. If he's really good, then I'll yeah. oh, stay here now and I'll let you have a nice time. Oh! Ah. Good boy. Good. Now in. Ah. Good. Oh, there you go. Fuck with the feet now. Okay, so lay down. Hush, hush. Ah. Oh, yeah. good. Oh. Oh. Good. Bend the back a little bit. Yeah, I'll be for a few. Good. 
All right, thank you. Oh, you Good. Yeah, I'm going to take him off and put him on this maybe as a back tie. Yeah. I'm looking for my dog to really understand obedience to the track. I'm training him for sport tracking, so it's very stylistic and it's very important that he doesn't make mistakes like coming off the track. And I'm going to make sure he actually eats the food, that he's not just rushing. You can see he wants to kind of rush. So I'll give him a little pop there. Don't rush. Hunt the food out. There you go. 